Something colossal is tearing through the heavens faster than anything we have seen before. It's not space dust or a rogue rock. This might be an interstellar messenger. This object is simply a piece of another solar system that was expelled and it has been traveling through interstellar space for hundreds of millions of years, billions of years, we don't know. In 2017, astronomers spotted something unlike anything they had ever seen before. A small, fast-moving object zipped through our solar system, following a hyperbolic path, meaning it wasn't bound to the Sun's gravity and would never return. This object, later named Oumuamua, Hawaiian for scout or messenger, became the first confirmed interstellar visitor in human history. And it didn't behave like anything we knew. Here's the strange part. Unlike a normal comet, it showed no visible tail of gas or dust as it passed near the Sun. Even more puzzling, as it moved away from the Sun, it began to accelerate. Just slightly, but undeniably. Gravity alone couldn't explain it. Cue the headlines. Was this an alien probe? That's where Neil deGrasse Tyson steps in. Not to fan the flames of sensationalism, but to show us how to think like scientists when faced with cosmic mysteries. Neil deGrasse Tyson often reminds us that when humanity encounters something new and baffling, we have a habit of filling in the gaps with extraordinary explanations. In ancient times, a solar eclipse might have signaled angry gods. Strange, flickering lights over the horizon morphed into sea monsters. Today, the unknown often gets sneakily rebranded as aliens. It's our old instincts, dressed up in modern clothes, complete with YouTube thumbnails and dramatic narration. Important though it is to feel the wonder, Tyson urges us to pause and resist the sensationalism. Umamua certainly checked the weird box. It was elongated like a cosmic cigar or pancake, exhibited a reddish hue, and violated all our comet expectations. Yet weird doesn't automatically mean alien. The universe brims with oddities that outpace our current understanding. The scientific method exists to sift truth from speculation. Now fast forward to 2025 and enter 3i slash ATLAS, the third confirmed interstellar visitor. Discovered on July 1st by Chile's ATLAS survey, it's not just another passing comet, it's rewriting parts of the playbook. Observations from the James Webb Space Telescope revealed a coma astonishingly rich in carbon dioxide compared to water, one of the highest CO2 to H2O ratios ever recorded in any comet. Add a nickel detection without iron and a faint red continuum hinting at ancient radiation-baked organics, and you've got a cosmic puzzle that's legitimately intriguing. As for size, estimates have varied widely from a sprawling approximately 20 kilometers to a more modest approximately 3.5 kilometers nucleus. Although even at the smaller end, it's still potentially the largest interstellar object yet observed. Originally traveling at about 61 kilometers per second, 3i Atlas will approach perihelion around October 29, 2025, before speeding away. Despite its bizarre chemistry, Tyson would still remind us Strange isn't synonymous with supernature. Natural processes, like formation near the CO2 ice line or exposure to high radiation environments, could account for its composition and behavior. Even amid mounting curiosity and speculative headlines, for example, Avi Loeb's provocative notion that the object could be alien technology, Tyson's call would be don't jump to aliens until every reasonable natural explanation is ruled out. And that's the crux of Tyson's perspective. Before we turn to the extraordinary, we must first exhaust the ordinary. Which brings us to the bigger question. If not aliens, then what are the most likely explanations for these mysterious interstellar visitors? Not everyone agrees, of course. Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb argued that 
Oumuamua might be a technological artifact, an interstellar probe pushed along by starlight, like a giant cosmic light sail. His case drew on two big anomalies. No comet-like tail, and that puzzling acceleration. Loeb suggested that if it wasn't a natural object, perhaps it was evidence of advanced engineering. The theory captured global imagination. Tyson acknowledges why it resonated. Humans are drawn to extraordinary stories. But as he emphasizes, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. And in this case, the evidence just wasn't there. Tyson's approach to unexplained celestial phenomena is both methodical and rational. Prioritize natural explanations before considering extraterrestrial involvement. He emphasizes that the scientific community has a wealth of evidence and theories to explore. One noteworthy hypothesis regarding the interstellar object, Oumuamua posits that it could be a fragment of solid nitrogen, similar to a shard that might originate from a Pluto-like planet. As Oumuamua passed close to the Sun, it could have been releasing invisible gas due to thermal processing, thus accounting for its unusual acceleration without producing a visible tail characteristic of comets. Other intriguing hypotheses include the possibility that Oumuamua is a hydrogen iceberg, which could consist of solid hydrogen in a crystalline structure, structure, or perhaps it is a loose, porous cluster of cosmic dust composed of various elements and compounds that have coalesced over time. While these ideas might seem exotic or far-fetched at first glance, they are not beyond the realm of physical possibility. For Tyson, the key lesson here is to avoid rushing to sensational conclusions, such as alien technology or spacecraft, without thoroughly examining the evidence at hand. If observable phenomena, like the acceleration of comets due to invisible outgassing, can be adequately explained through known physical laws and principles, then it is both prudent and scientifically sound to embrace these explanations over more speculative notions of extraterrestrial life. Umamua wasn't the end of the story. In 2019, a second interstellar visitor appeared, 2i slash Borisov. Unlike Oumuamua, it behaved exactly like a comet. Bright coma, long tail, no surprises. This contrast proves how little we've seen. With just two examples in history, how can we know what's normal for interstellar guests? Tyson points out that every new visitor is a fresh data point in a cosmic census. To him, the real wonder is that these objects exist at all. They are postcards from other star systems, physical messengers carrying the chemistry of worlds light years away. Even without aliens, they expand our knowledge of the galaxy. So, was Oumuamua an alien probe? Tyson's answer is measured. Probably not. Until we have direct evidence, something testable, repeatable, undeniable, aliens remain the least likely explanation. The universe rarely needs science fiction to amaze us. The real story is even more inspiring. Umamua shows that the universe occasionally sends us souvenirs from faraway systems, reminders that we are part of something vast and interconnected. For Tyson, that's the beauty of science, the ability to turn confusion into clarity, mystery into knowledge. The cosmos doesn't owe us answers, but if we stay curious and follow the evidence, we'll keep uncovering truths stranger and more elegant than anything we could invent. As Tyson might say, the universe is under no obligation to make sense to us, but that doesn't mean we should stop trying to make sense of it.